The Second Amendment, a well-regulated militia. People to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Attention! How do you feel about the Second Amendment? What is the Second Amendment, Hunter? Well, each state has the right to a militia and that we have the rights to bear arms. Oh, to bear arms, huh? Well, um, I think that it's important to have the ability to bear uh, arms, uh, but I think nowadays we get a little too carried away, and I think gun restrictions are important, like uh, minimizing clips, uh, background checks, things like that. Um, I don't think our founding fathers knew that tanks and bazookas would be around, or 30 round clips in a gun. So I think that's important uh, to have gun restrictions. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Soldiers shall in time of peace be quartered at any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in a matter to be prescribed by law. <clears throat> Get out of here. Get, get We're taking over your house. Get out of here. No. Scatter. You're hey. moving out. We're moving in. Third Amendment. Make room, buddy boy. Get out. This is BS. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. Well, I wouldn't mind having you over for dinner if I knew you were coming ahead of time, but I wouldn't want you to live with me no time. Especially if I didn't know you were coming. You know? But if I wasn't home and you came into my house, or what if my house was a mess and you couldn't find anywhere to stay? Well, yeah, and then it could be really uncomfortable telling you it's time to leave when I didn't want you there anymore. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. Thank you. What if I go to food? Yeah. 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 Just Thank you. <laughs> of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. Can you stand outside while we search? Get out of my house. Thank you. Okay, Dad, so how do you feel about the Fourth Amendment? The Fourth Amendment was very good when they instituted it into our government. It was meant to help people and to preserve the many things of life. But then our country got very, very scared because 9-11 happened. And when 9-11 happened, it changed the whole history of the United States. Because then they knew that there was a real possible threat that we could be really hurt on our soil. And they didn't like this feeling at all. During World War II, when Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, they also instituted some things that were not fair to the Japanese people. If you were in California and you were of this descent, they would put these people in camps in California, which many people don't know about. And you couldn't even say the word sauerkraut during World War II. They didn't like that at all. But for 9-11, they took it just, I think, a little too far. We all want to feel safe and we all want to feel secure. But if they feel that you may have terrorist backgrounds, and unfortunately with some people with the wrong last name or the skin's the wrong color, unfortunately, with Islamic backgrounds, then they feel the Fourth Amendment don't have to be necessary as much. They can bend them rules. Because of Homeland Security, they can now come into your house and they don't need a warrant 
if they feel it is necessary. If they don't feel it's necessary and they feel you could have these backgrounds or these things, then they'll come in without a search warrant. It's probable cause because they may feel you violate Homeland Security. Now, it isn't they're going to look at you all of a sudden with your name and think, you're a terrorist, so we're not going to have these Fourth yeah. Amendments, right? It's not like that at all. But they usually take one or two or three things into consideration when they come in. When they made the Fourth Amendments, they should stick to it completely. If you're not sticking to it completely, then not only should our government tell you by instituting some things, but also the teachers should be telling the children, especially the seniors, they should be telling them. Because when seniors get out of the world and they see things, they may, they may have friends in colleges, and they may see some things that the government doing, they're thinking, our government should be doing this. But then if our kids don't know what the governments are allowed to do because of what happened in 9-11 and Homeland Security, mm -hmm. then there's something wrong. We live in a very great country, and it's a very good country, and they just want to protect us and help us. But they also should inform us and communicate with us with all things yeah. that nothing should be hidden from us. Because as soon as you hide one thing and you don't tell the people, then the people begin to believe what else are they hiding from us? Yeah. What else haven't they told us? Look at Guantanamo Bay that you already did a study about it. What are the prisoners like down there? Talk to a gentleman who worked down there, who lives right here in Huntington County. He don't even want to talk about what the jail cells are like because he has post-traumatic stress disorder. It bothers him severely what it's like down there, and he don't talk about it to this day. I've asked him to come in and talk to the kids, but his wife said, he just can't do it. Mm -hmm. So if they're hiding them things, you have to ask, what else are they hiding? And what else have they been? The Fourth Amendment's good. It's only good if you stick by it 100%. Yeah, do you think that they should make moderations <clears throat> to it then? Like, saying, putting new things to it? Like, how the, since 9-11 it changed? They probably already made moderations that we don't know of. Or if they made moderations, they haven't made them public yet. How they modified it and how they changed it. Yeah. Because of 9-11. It should be changed and modified to an extent where the people, the people, you and I being the people, where we mm -hmm. should vote on it and we should decide on it. Hey, this is a Fourth Amendment. Are we willing to change it? Mm -hmm. A lot of people would say yes, and a lot of people would say no. It'd be something good to discuss about. Yeah. But unfortunately, I don't think they're going to tell us everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I still love America because it has so many freedoms. I'll mm -hmm. defend it, but I'll also speak about it. Don't hide it. Just tell me. Be honest. That's all I have to say then? Yes, I believe okay. so. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.